Yo. Yo, what up, dog? What's up, Holy man? fuck, wait. I didn't even realize my camera was on. Oh, wait, that's you. <laughs> that's you. <laughs> I am joined here today. Not, um, you know, I know a lot of you guys call me Tectone, but I'm actually joined by the real Tectone today. Uh, Becky, thank you so much for uh, finding some time for me, bro. I know you're really busy. And uh, we're going to talk about some Star Rail today. Wait, do you actually get the Tectone comment a lot or no? Bro, literally today. Another one. If you close your eyes and just listen, it literally sounds like Tectone. There's no difference. Literally today. I'll be real. I don't think you sound anything like that. That's me, what I I'm... keep saying, dude. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know. I don't know how they see it, dude. They, I, they said I look like you and sound like you. Uh, it's just because any bald character in any game or anybody in this yep. earth is just Tectone, yep. which is <laughs> yep. hilarious and annoying as shit at the yeah. same time angry and bald equal angry loud and bald equals tectone apparently have you are you an angry guy i always saw he's a more positive guy uh, i can get pretty angry when i mean everybody when, can sorry. to be honest it depends when you're listening when you're listening to paimon for 30 minutes uh <laughs> every uh dialogue option it's pretty easy to get fucking pissed off so we were talking about that before i started recording do you think mm. like me and techie have the same well, on Paimon, I wish they would fucking just kill her off, for the love of God. And the padded dialogue literally made me quit right before Sumer came out. Sumer was supposed to be the epitome of like, oh yeah, it's gonna be so good. And I just, I, I had no urge to play. I yeah, I mean, uh, should you come back to Genshin and you stop for the dialogue bloating? Um, well, if you stop for the dialogue bloating, I will let you know in 4.0 there is much less of that. Okay. Okay. Uh, for 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 the main story, I don't know anything else oh, beyond God. that. Uh, in my opinion, every update isn't determined by the 4.0; it's determined by the 4.1. Okay. Uh, so I would probably hold off a little bit. I mean, one, it really depends. Like when you when you say you quit Genshin, I and this is crazy. Sense. This is crazy how we've come full circle to where I quit. I came back, and now I'm <laughs> going to. I might convince you to come back. Yeah. Maybe that would be insane. Um. I know, I know a great title of this video. Tectone told me I should quit Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that'd be sick. That actually is a um, good title. Yeah, so you stopped playing in the chasm. What What was the breaking point? Like, what was the breaking Dude, point? the exploration in the chasm was so fucking boring. And the, the non-voiced, like, side quest lines in there that I had to do to get through it, I was like, my God, I have to do this to get to Sumeru. This is absolutely ridiculous. And then we found yeah. out that we got no endgame. That was like right around the time. Yeah. Well, Chasm for me was fairly enjoyable when I did it. Um, there still is no skip button for dialogue, which is truly a shame. Um, I don't know why that's not in the game yet, but it's not. Then Zone Zero uh, is going to have it. Yeah. ZCC. <laughs> uh, and I'm not going to skip any of that because I can tell they're actually, you know, they're actually trying, which looks, it looks good. beautiful. It, like, does, it does look beautiful. beautiful. Um, I will say this Fontaine so far, from a story perspective, has been very enjoyable. Uh, the introduction of characters like Farina and Nervillette are incredible. I'm not kidding. Like some of the okay. best characters in Genshin history. If they're on the screen, you will not be bored. I guarantee you that. Okay. Uh, they swap. I'm not sure if you've seen. Have you seen any of the story or no? I've been kind of holding off. I watched you play it for a little bit, and I was like, "This swimming looks really good." And then I kind of yeah, just like lurked. And it is. The, okay. the swimming is good. Uh, if you care about Endgame don't come back it's not there okay it'll never be there the end game combat for genshin impact will be in zenla zone zero yeah i told myself if i go back to play it, it'll it probably be just for story like that's how i'm treating story Hawkeye impact third right now yep story and exploration is the only reason to play genshin okay uh but uh yeah the 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 new main story the archon question part one and two are very well put together uh part two is probably about an 85 out of 10 or 85 out of 100 and then the part one is probably like a 98 out of 100 it is it is actually that good like it is standalone okay. that good now that being said i don't think it's as good as honkai star rail storytelling still because it still kind of takes the piss a little bit you know it's mm -hmm. a little bit slower it needs a little bit more bloat than it needs to uh but they they kind of bloat it in a way to where it's still compelling by still it's kind of like wetting your appetite for a little bit because something big happens and they bloat you along for a little bit to keep you in that little realm of excitement and drawn out a little bit longer. So I didn't really mind it for part one. For part two, I did mind it. I was yawning a lot. Yeah. Uh, but it was still very enjoyable. But uh, as far as swimming exploration go, very good. Combat doesn't exist. Uh, the combat actually got worse on our really? ride. Really? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. so for underwater, they're Zhang Li and Kazuya, I still don't need to pull anybody. You don't need to pull anyone at all because okay. uh, in underwater, 
every character is the same. You just oh. grab a buff and then you just use the oh. shield buff oh, and okay. you just yeah, you literally do nothing but uh, just like water slash or shield bubble and then uh that's about oh, it. So there's underwater combat. Kind of. Um yeah, you can call it that. Okay. I I'd more so call it underwater button pressing. <laughs> I wouldn't really call it combat because you can't die. Oh. Unless you're like, unless your brain is literally just like <laughs> non-existent. You know, I have not found a way to die underwater yet. Even ver even versus the, I mean, okay, M Tash found a way to die, but oh, he God. doesn't count. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just press the E button, things explode. That's about it. But uh, yeah, that's that's Fontaine so far. That sounds good. Uh, you know what kind of like wanted me to get to play? I was watching the Sake and Eggs podcast, uh, which great I do podcast. every Friday. Make sure you guys can watch it every Friday. It's amazing. Yeah, great podcast. Um. I was listening to the part where you were talking about where they finally started getting a little bit darker with like, yep. that's what I love about Honka Impact 3rd. Like I quit. I don't know if you ever played Honka Impact 3rd when it first came out. Uh, I played, I played it. And then the community told me I wasn't allowed to like it because they're lesbians. And then I quit the game because I was like, am I really going to get guilt tripped every video, every stream, every <laughs> Twitter post because I think Raiden May is fucking hot. Yeah, because I think Yai Sakura me, is fucking hot. A lot of people were telling me I think you played till the Himiko thing and then uh, you uh, haven't gone back since or whatever. Himiko thing was insane. Yeah, that right there is like wow. Genshin is why can't they fucking do this in Genshin, dude? Like, I I, I yeah. hate the like. I don't mind when a like a story has a happy ending, but I do want to see a little bit of like dramatic stuff it, to keep me invested in like. I care about Himiko more now because she what she did, you know, the sacrifice and everything. Oh yeah, but of course. I like the whole time I played Genshin all the way till 3.0, I was like literally never. It, except for uh what's her name? Uh the one everyone wanted to pull from the Fatui that now she's probably never going to be a character. Uh Signora, um, Signora? Signora. Yeah, Signora. Yep. Yeah. And I I like that was so I feel like that was kind of rushed. I was like, "Wait, she's dead?" Yeah, the way she died was really fucking lame. Yeah, I so it's, it's kind of the same as uh, you're caught up in Honkai Star Rail. Yes. Yeah. Uh, if Tingyun is actually dead, that will be lamer. I, I was mad about that too. I was like, wait, that's it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that that doesn't really strike me as a death. It seems more like an illusion for Luo to have a reason to use his coffin. Uh, I mean, the motherfucker says the dead will return every single time he presses Q button. Uh, so I, I do think she will come back. It, it just depends when. Because uh, if in 1.3 it's announced that Ting Yun is officially dead, I will actually be furious. I will be mad too. I, I thought they also rushed like Don Hung a little bit with the yep. transformation. I was like, wait, that's it? He gets stabbed in the chest and then it's okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah it, sometimes it's a little bit too fast in Hong yeah. Kong Star, which is a blessing and it's a curse. Yeah. Like, I loved Kokolia. I thought that was, like, the perfect buildup. Obviously, they can't do that for every single patch because that was, like, all of 1.0. Well, uh, I mean, they technically could. Like, they could build up towards that every patch. Yeah. Uh, and because, like, the other thing is for the Zhangzhou Lofu, we're not even done yet. No. You know, there's still a lot of loose ends that need to be, you know, finished up. Uh, we still have no idea how Jingliu or Topaz are involved in the story, and they're going to have to be involved in the story. Have you because, seen her animations? Uh, I've seen both, yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm probably, yep. that's probably going to be my e first E6. I know you're not spending on Star Rail right now, but if you were, yeah. I, I feel like you'd probably. E6 For Jingliu? Yeah. I'm more of a Topaz guy. Yeah, I like Topaz, too. The little, uh, you played Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross, too, right? Yeah, back in the day, it kind of reminds me of like the Eliz Hawk thing. Oh, don't make her lame, bro. Don't make her lame. <laughs> Fuck, oh, dude. No. <laughs> it I does. Like, oh shit! It's kind of animations almost seem the same too. What the fuck? It does, but uh, the problem is, is that Seven Deadly Sins, the franchise, is so mid. Yeah. Uh, the ending was laughable at best. Uh, they killed the, the only good character, yep. which really fucking irritated me. That was me. so dumb that they killed. <laughs> Yep. Why? Yep. Uh, but yeah, that shit, that shit annoyed the shit out of me. And the season three animation, too. Yeah, Seven Deadly Frames. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> Fucking terrible. Uh, awesome. But yeah, Topaz just looks adorable in all yeah. aspects. And like, I, I, I'm i tired of the, oh, this character is very cool because they're gloomy and dark. Yeah. It's just like, bro, just give me a happy bitch. Give me somebody who's actually happy to be here. Yeah. Holy fuck, bro. Gwenefine it's looks so like exhausting. Gwenefine looks good too, the with the very like happy. She got the dogs oh, yeah. coming with her too. 
I think she's supposed yep. to pair well with Kafka too, uh, from what I've seen. Yep, thank God. I'm tired of using the all dude team with Kafka. <laughs> getting know, getting Sambo. Yep, Gwynethan and Black Swan. That's gonna be the yeah, fucking team. Dude. The other very interesting thing is is that I've been told that we might be returning to Bellabog. Yeah, I heard that in the too. near future. You saw all which the could be sick. May uh May leaks too. Like apparently she's gonna be coming. Yep. 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 Saw that too. I still I'm not sure if that's real because that one seems yeah. a little bit too good to be true because uh, that would be fucking sick. I saw your video on Kiana. Did they take that Kiana video down? Wait, uh, I think you reacted to a video where it was like Kiana is coming to Star Rail or something like that or yeah, finale. Is is that is that like leaks or rumors or? Uh, it was a it was a jap or I think it was a Chinese developer interview that was translated oh. into English. Uh, yeah, they didn't. They didn't take that. I, I don't think it's necessarily leaks. Okay. Uh, so yeah. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. wait, yo, random fact. Enviosity subathon just ended. Yeah. Yeah, it just Damn. ended like two how, seconds ago. That, how long has it been going? Oh, uh, only thirteen days. Oh, okay. And so nothing compared to yours then. <laughs> yeah, and it's a VTuber one, so yeah. it's easier. I've been watching a lot more VTubers lately, to be honest with you. Oh, who are you been watching? Vey Bay's. She she doesn't stream as much, but she's my it's, favorite. It's just Vey. Yeah, Vey. Yeah, <laughs> just Vey. Vey, um, I haven't watched Iron Mouse a lot. Uh Amelie. Um, uh, you, you know her as well, probably. Um yep. I've been watching her a lot too. Uh, you should watch Nanners and Ethel. Nanners, I've watched her on occasion. I've been missing a lot of her lives lately, so I don't know if she streams really late or not. Uh no, Nanners is fucking a goaded streamer. A goaded streamer. I'm gonna have to check uh, her out more often because uh, lately I've just been watching you, and when I'm not I'm watching you, I'm watching Vey or um, or you know uh, what's her name, Amelie, and uh, then I'm just like working on my own stuff. So I I like I'm always watching, but like quietly watching. You know what I mean? Yeah, I actually uh, am curious. You've been uh you've been in the content creating game for a while now. So. I um funny enough I was I started streaming during like PUBG and I never really took it serious. Um, yeah. and then like I kind of briefly started doing YouTube videos for like the City of Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. Uh um, yeah. for like maybe 6 months and then I was dating someone um that was for like 7 or 8 years and uh she was not into that at all. So what you doing content creation? Yeah like at oh, all it, yeah so well, obviously i'm not with her anymore thank god for that uh so yeah. yeah if you guys are watching you with a psychopathic person that does not let you enjoy your own hobbies uh, there's a red flag right there um yeah you want to pass on that you want to get someone who supports you just as yep. much as you support them yep i was working a lot and then i'd be coming home hang out with her have dinner watch her stupid you know whatever shows that she watched um <laughs> you know and i never complained She'd go to bed and I would be, all right, I'll come to bed in an hour or two. I'd work on content and she would literally get furious. Oh, you'd never come to bed with me. But I was like, oh, okay. So I kind of was like, do that or keep her happy. And I kind of like took a very long break during, and Epic 7 was doing really good for me. I was like averaging on Twitch, I think like 300 uh, viewers a stream. And then yeah. I kind of just like stopped. Um, what's his name? He used to raid me all the time. Uh, he did the really hilarious fucking uh raid shadow legends uh <sighs> sponsor video he did one for star rail too ydcb right ydcb yeah yeah he ydcb used to raid, yeah, yeah, used to raid me a lot during epic seven so it kind of helped my channel a lot and then it's like once you take a long break and you try coming back it's like yeah, it starting you. over you know so yep it does and, it really 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 absolutely does fuck you yeah so i just started kind of like focusing on youtube a lot more since like for the past year it's been working a lot and twitch with tiktok yeah daily uploads are super important yep that's what i've been doing it's rough but we get in there <laughs> <laughs> it was rough i've been trying to find an editor because it's uh, like hard but uh you're editing expensive. your own shit still too yeah. fuck and i i uh, own a restaurant with my father so i work three and a half days like all day all night and then he works three and a half days all day all night what the fuck yeah, so it's it's a little rough sometimes so sometimes i miss a day or two it sucks but that's why I've been trying to get an editor. I'm like, damn, if I have someone editing my shit, I can just pump it out and have them do it. And I literally would just take money from TikTok and have them and use that money to pay <laughs> YouTube. Like, you know? Oh, where's your restaurant located at? Uh, Massachusetts. Oh, okay. In, uh, I can go to that. Yeah, it's, it's pretty far. Fuck. Pretty far. 
So I wanted to I wanted to circle back to Genshin. Yep. What other problems did you have with the game? Because I might be able to tell you if they're fixed or not. Um, I'm on had a dialogue. So uh, I don't think they should kill Paimon. I I really think they should just find a way to retcon her. Yeah. My only issue with her is like, is she annoying? Yes. But I think the annoying part is we'd be in a serious like conversation in the game. Something serious is happening. And she'd be like, oh my God. And literally copy the fucking NPC word for word what he just said to repeat it to me like I'm a dumb little child. Like I didn't understand what the hell just happened. Yeah. Well, I mean, the game is made for 12 year olds. That's true. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, so that's still, that's still in the game. It's a little bit less bad in the new update. Okay. I will. Uh, it's still pretty bad, but I actually laughed at a Paimon joke during the uh, the new Archon quest, which was very rare for me. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That was nuts. That was nuts for me. All right. I, I might. So I'm playing Honkai Impact 3rd right now. Uh, it's been doing pretty good for me. I, I've been telling people because they want me to play Genshin again. I'm like, if once I get caught up with Honkai Impact 3rd, because that shit is long as fuck. I'm on chapter 22 right now out of 39. So I'm like... I've been kind of doing like four or five chapters a week. Once I catch up, I'm probably going to hop on uh, Genshin and catch up. That's what, yeah. what my plan is. Uh, and then I can say that you're the reason while I'm bitching and moaning throughout all the dialogue that I'm playing this game again. I mean, yeah, you will, you will <laughs> bitch and moan for sure. But I will admit this, and this is the truth. If you're a smaller content creator... And you can't put on, if you can't suck it up and put yep. on that fake smile, yep. you're going to get shit on relentlessly. Mm -hmm. You're going to be called a drama starter. You're going to be called toxic. Okay. Remember, you have to be fake as fuck to grow as a smaller content it's, creator. It's actually so true. And it's it's a shame. It's a yep. shame because obviously the opinions and the critiques need to be heard. Uh, but these little kids don't want to hear it. And especially when their little snowflake favorite content creators enable that. And they say, yeah, yeah. you're right. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Let's all jerk off the Zhao's ass yep. together. Uh, it is uh, it is ridiculous. Yep. It is ridiculous. I've seen that even with Star Rail. Like, I love Star Rail. It's like my favorite game right now. Um, but Same. even even then, there's still like certain things that could be better. And even any tiny little thing you say that, even though you love the game and you're saying things that could be better, people still will be attacking you like, oh, why are you shitting on the game? It's it's doing so good in China and global, blah, blah, blah. Like, okay, that's cool. But I'm just saying, if they do this, the game could be even better than it is right now, you know? I, and I am curious. I have not had that experience with Star Rail at all. Uh, besides when I shit talk Jing Yuan, uh, then people cry about that. What What, what do you think could be better what are your concerns for star Wars? i just think the pacing's a little bit too fast right now after, that's fair after uh, yeah. 1.1 i think that's my only critique right now to be honest the pacing the pacing is fast they need to let moment to breathe more yeah yeah 100 yeah. yeah blade blade there should have been a whole fucking finale feel to it same yep. thing with ting yun yeah um the reaction of the cast should have been more grandiose i one million percent agree is there anything else for now um Besides that, besides that, not really. I'm I'm enjoying the combat a lot. Uh, we're we're finally getting one thing that I was wanting a lot: the stamina, uh, over consumption yep. thing. So we're getting that 240 stamina, getting that. Um, because sometimes I do forget to like log in when I hit 180, and it'll overflow a lot. So that's that's good. Um, some of the companion quests have been really good, but I was I don't know if you feel the same way. I was a little disappointed with Kafka's. Because yeah. I could've, was like, been more. yeah, I felt like it was the shortest one and it was the most hyped, like up, like we, everyone was, was waiting for that one. It was a, it was a fan service one. Yeah. And, uh, I didn't enjoy, I mean, there's ways to get the answers. Like how she said, you know, how she did the two truths and a lie or one truth and yeah. a lie. Um, a lot of people are like, oh, you can tell when she's lying because she looks away. And then, you know, I brought up the fact to people, I'm like, yeah, but she's a psychopath. What if she's using reverse psychology and she's ma making you think that that's the lie, but that's really the truth? So like, no, I almost agree. You, so you don't never know if like what she's saying is true or not. And I was like, damn, I really wanted more lore for this character. Now I got more questions than anything, and I get that was the entire point. But I just felt like it could have been a little bit better. Did you uh, look up all truths and all lies? Yeah, yeah, I did on As YouTube. Did I. Yeah, I had to. I that's was... very interesting because it, it because Genshin has the huge issue with the illusion of choice yep. it's like 
yeah, let's go versus yeah, let's go right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's like, yep. it doesn't fucking matter. But that, that truly was a quest where it was like, your choices do matter. So I like it, but also feel a little bit left out at the yep. same time. But uh, YouTube videos like that really make up for that. Uh, but yeah. Oh, would, by the way, um, you don't. You should get someone to beat Sumer Sumeru for you. That's what I was thinking. Like, I literally was about to post on Twitter saying I would literally pay someone to just get through Sumeru for me because there's a. <laughs> I heard there's a fucking fourteen hour side quest yeah. chain that you have to do that is not voiced and you can't skip I'm, anything. I'm not sure if it's required. It's the Ar okay. Aranyaka quest that you're talking about. Even thinking about it makes me yawn because I thought about it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> um yeah uh, apparently the community says it's very good that's what i heard right? but then but then my chat says it is the worst thing they've ever experienced well i feel like i have adhd so i feel like i would lose interest so fast if without the voice acting and pad dialogue for 14 you hours. would yeah. you would for sure so yeah i don't know uh, i might just have someone do it for me and literally just watch a youtube video summary on it which is what i did yeah. with a lot of Hong Kong impact third shit with all the manga dude, and everything that they have. Dude, um, the, 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 the creators on YouTube do a excellent job at telling the story of Genshin impact better than the Genshin better. impact. Yeah. Do themselves. I, I think better to be honest. So I guess my conclusion for, should you try Genshin impact again would be a yes, get someone to do Sumeru for you. People aren't going to like that. I said that, but I'm letting you know, this isn't for a general audience recommendation yeah. i'm telling for specifically for legions yeah. uh you won't enjoy it you will not uh fontaine do part one and part two of the archon quest explore for a little and then play for maybe two days every six weeks yeah which is what i was doing towards the end before i quit anyway yep yes which i i honestly like that about star rail too um like a lot of people wish that they had more to do i like that i can just log in when there's no story no event log in waste stamina dailies leave and i can go play armor core i can go play yep. whatever the fuck i want and i don't have to yeah, wait, and, uh, waste time on it yeah yeah and star rails grinding is done automatically so yeah i love that really fucking nice love that but the thing about star rail too i don't know like uh i guess we can segue a little into uh uh like what we think star rail could do to improve a little bit because honestly i think the game as it is is almost like a 10 out of 10 for me for a gotcha game um yep. Same. i think what they could because the kafka quest really made this really apparent that it needed to be added to the game i think they should add a way for us to replay companion quests or story that way if we want to replay it in a different language or with that quest we had multiple different questions multiple different answers with multiple different outcomes Yep, I would never be able to get that one playthrough. I would just have to ask friends and see if they chose different things than me. Obviously, it's probably not going to be able to be done because, you know, they're going to think about mobile and the amount of storage they would probably have to do for that. It would be kind of insane. But, uh, yeah. you know, I, I think that's probably my one thing that I think they could do to improve the game a little bit better for a story anyway. Oh, that's, that's the problem is that uh, everything that I wanted, they're adding in 1.3. Yeah. I, 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 I mean, saw that live. I was like, damn. Straight up, like, uh, when 1.3 comes out, which is in, like, two days, uh, well, let me actually double check. I believe 2. Point, yeah, 1.3 is coming out in, yeah, two Ooh, days. Tuesday night, right? Very soon. Very, yeah, yeah, very soon. Yeah. Uh, I'll know what I'll need after, but with that change alone, I mean, that's a lot of potential, man. Like, that is a lot of potential. And that's only 1.3. Engine 1.3. When was Dragon Spine? One point two, one, one point two. Uh, uh, that was something that was, should have been so hype, and then it I was found, one point two. You one point two? Okay, I was right. Uh, they, I found it so annoying to explore there. They made it feel like a chore. I was like, damn, I would have loved to explore here, but every five seconds I go to go find fucking fire, so I don't die. Yeah, that was a little bit gimmicky. I, I'm glad they didn't ruin that with Fontaine. That means I did still enjoy Dragon Spine, the story, too. and the I, lore. I uh, the environment was beautiful, but the, yeah, the uh, the the need to be warm mechanic was fucking awful. If you didn't have goulash, it was miserable. And Genshin, um, one thing they're adding in Sarrel two one point three, Genshin still doesn't have a history thing, right? Where you can see what the conversation was said. Correct. Damn, I can't believe yep. they still don't have that. Holy shit! Yep. By the way, how how much do you work out? Um, about five days a week. No. Yeah, you look wait, flex your arms for me. I lost a lot of weight though. I'm fucking sweating. Yeah, you got a lot of meat there, big guy. Yeah, I know. 
I uh, so after COVID, I I uh, went from like best shape of my life to the worst. I went to like two fifteen, barely any body fat to like two sixty. So yeah, yeah. I mean, so same. I went from, I went from two forty to three hundred thirty. Dude, you did amazing in Camp Canoe. I'm proud of you. You stuck out through the whole thing. I was like, man, that I don't know if hard. he's I don't know if he's gonna do the whole thing. That shit is rough because I used to be a personal trainer, so I know how hard some people get pushed. And Canute was pushing you hard, dude. Uh, it was actually awful. And I'm going to say this, uh, I will say this objectively. I believe I had the hardest. I think so. Because I was the fattest and we were yep. all eating the same diet. Yep. So everybody was eating 1,200 calories a day. And as a 330 pound man, it was awful. And the Jesus. worst thing was the food tasted so bad, I would skip a meal a day. So I was actually only eating 980 Nine, calories. Yeah. That's why I lost like, I think I think I lost like 42 pounds in one month. You look really good now though. You look good. What are you I, at? What are you I, at? 230? Uh, I am now, I, I'm still hovering around 242 and 239. I'm like around there too. I'm like 250. Yeah. So I am, I'm trying to lose probably 20 more pounds. And then once I get down to 220, uh, I'll probably start hitting the gym again. Yeah. It's, hey, it's working for you. The, the meals you're doing, you're doing pushups on stream too. I saw <laughs> you still doing yeah. pushups on the stream too. So first yep. up. what, um, we've talked a lot about star rail and I, I want, but since I got you for a couple more minutes, uh, I want to ask you, have you seen, obviously you've seen this, uh, Project Mugen. Project Mugen looks so good, I don't believe that it's real. That's what I... And it's NetEase, so I'm like kind of iffy. It, NetEase has so, like a bad past from what I heard from a lot of people. So here's the crazy thing. I looked into NetEase's past. Hmm. I don't see anything wrong. I said the same shit, and I'm, I I started looking into it. People in my comments were like, oh, it's NetEase, NetEase, NetEase. And I'm looking, I'm like, they do the Rocket Blade Point. Didn't they just have a fucking gear collab? <laughs> Aren't they doing like really good right now? <laughs> like, yeah. So I, I don't, I don't. People are saying that, but the game just got pre-registration, which arguably we've been doing content on mobile games for a while and playing them for a while. Pre-registration means that it's coming soon. Ish. Yeah. So it uh, it had one hundred and sixty thousand pre-regs three days ago. As of today, it has half a million. God damn, that's crazy. Yeah. Um, I think the whole NetEase Pepe laugh thing is kind of like a sheep concern. Mm where people kind of just make shit up because, oh, my Genshin, my Genshin, I need to jerk off the Hu Tao every single day. <laughs> and I think they're just trying to make up a reason to kill hype for it because they want Genshin to pop off. But yeah, uh, I've looked at Nettie's history. Unless somebody can wake me up, I have seen nothing wrong with the yep, company. I did the same thing when I was getting uh, a bunch of angry comments on TikTok and uh, not angry, but like uh, just shitting on it, saying it's Nettie's on TikTok and YouTube. And uh, I, didn't, I didn't find anything. I saw they're yeah. doing a new Harry Potter card game. I guess a lot of people are liking that too. And um, I haven't. I guess uh, the other thing is that the monetization is bad. I'm like, it's a gotcha game. Yeah. <laughs> like, some are more generous than others, but they all, at the end of the day, will, will just want your money. It's the same shit. Of course. You know? Uh, no, I will say, I mean, obviously, you know, as well as I know, uh, you have to think everything that you say about, oh, this thing's bad, with especially for the gotcha community. You have to take it with a grain of salt. Yeah. Uh, because they just make shit the fuck up. I've been dealing with that shit for years. Other video games have been dealing with that shit for years. Uh, I, I don't trust the the blind word of these fucking dipshits anymore. Uh, I look into everything myself until someone actually supplies me with proof uh, because that's how you actually stay informed and that's how you actually stay educated. Yep. Uh, and these people are not that. Absolutely. I, now, one more thing I want to ask you. How you been enjoying go going back to Genshin? Has the community been on top of your shit or... Has, has it felt like a welcome um, comeback? You know what's crazy? It actually feels like a hero's comeback. I'm not That's even capping with right. you. Let's go. Let's go. It, it's it's been insane. Like, uh, I'm getting the most viewership on Twitch now yep. uh, for any gotcha yep. streamer. I think day one you uh, had like 20 grand, right? 20,000 20, viewers? Something like that, right? The Genshin? Yeah, I had or, something fucking nuts. Yeah. I had 30,000 pulling Kafka, though. Yeah, that was great. Uh, but that being said, <laughs> streaming Genshin really isn't sustainable. So I, I am not going to treat it like a job. I'm yeah. only putting that game as a hobby from now on. Yep. Uh, yeah, I feel just like that's, do what uh, you were telling me earlier. Story, do the events when they come out, play every like yep. once every week or whatever, and just log out. Play yeah, no, one, one million percent. Your variety streams have been popping off anyway. So are you, are you playing Armored Core off stream? You're not going to stream it? Uh, No, I played a little bit off stream, but not too much. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I want to see another, um, I want to see another, uh, Tabs out, looks at chat, ban, ban someone, goes back to game. 
I uh, I had a couple moments like that today, man. It was fucking rough. I did that playing Sekiro a couple times. It's, it's uh, just so fucking annoying yeah. how everyone in chat thinks that they're better and you're bad. And they'll, you know what pisses me off is when they tell you to use a certain thing because it'll help you do it. That makes me not want to fucking do it. So I will yep. purposely play the game in the worst possible way, take as long as I have to to, play, to, to beat the fucking boss without having to do what they tell me to do. It depends. Sometimes I'm like, all right, I'll just slap yeah, it on and you're, clap you're it chill, on. You're chill with it a, a lot, especially I, I, in Star Rail when you play. Sometimes you'll ask, hey, what's the best relic? And they'll, yep, they'll, they'll be spamming, up. and you're like, oh, all right. <laughs> yep, there you go. Makes it easy. But, yeah, man, thank you so much for uh, joining in. Um, I I love talking to you about Star Rail and, and Genshin, and because of you, I'll probably be playing Genshin again. However, I probably will be paying someone to play through Sumer for me because Good call. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's a right. blessing and a curse. People will be angry at me for making you do that, but they'll be happy that you're back to Gunshot. Uh, hey, it'll make me want to play it. Yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah, upload your story reaction because I want to see that shit. I will. I've been posting my... Uh, I'm going to be real with you. I think you would love Honka and Back Third Story after Kimiko. I know uh, why No, you I stopped. will. I'm, I'm going back when it uh, gets the visual remake. Oh, so you did hear about the new engine that's supposed to be coming yeah. out. Of, did you, have you seen it? No. So it actually looks better in Star Rail. There's like ray tracing on on the water on the ground on on like when it rains you can see the reflective surface it's actually kind of insane. What the fuck? I, I can send it to you in, in the DM after. Uh, Marissa Honkai I think is the person that uh, posted it. It was from the five point seven uh, Honkai and Back Third live stream. So they have like a two minute clip of just walking around and it literally it's like Star Rail kind of walking around and uh, yeah. hub style and everything and uh, it looks actually incredible. Fuck! Oh. I, need, I need to. I need to see that shit immediately. I, I feel like there's no way that they redo the entire game like that, because I, I I don't know. That's the, I feel like because part two is about to start of the story. Like Kiana's like story is done, and they're starting another. And uh, I don't know. It just seems like crazy for seven years worth of content to be redone in an entirely new engine. Yeah, but Opium. What else are they gonna do, man? <laughs> True. You know? I mean, like. True. Yeah, I, they it, can't keep doing the visual novel like style, like two D surface uh, thing. When people have Genshin and and Star Rail with full three D models, oh, and shit, you know? one one million percent, one million percent. Oh, good, yeah, because I I definitely want to see reactions. I, there's some shit in there that will make you cry. I will bet money. I believe I've heard nothing but good things about Hunkai Back Third. So, thank you so much for joining me, man. I appreciate you. I know you're really busy, so thank you for making. Hey, no problem, dog. Guys. Make sure you show love to Tectone. I'm sure I don't have to say that. That Tectone. Or this Tectone. Not, not, not this Tectone. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. Uh, go have some fun with Armored Core. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, it's been no problem. I appreciate having you. Uh, so I don't have as much energy as I'd like. I'm hungry as fuck, and I just rage quit You're my good. stream. You're <laughs> I know. That's what I messaged yeah. you, too. Yeah. Uh, I, mean, uh, I hope I can do this again soon. Better. I'm down. I'm down 100%, man. Cool. Thank you so much for having me. Hey, no problem, brother. Uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Have hey, a good night, man. Later, bro. You too. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, like we talked about at the end, make sure you guys go follow Tecton. I'll leave the link to all the socials in the pinned comments and the description. Great dude. Thank you again so much, Tecton, for taking the time out of your busy schedule because I know you're very busy uh, for you know making some time and talking about Genshin and Star Rail and anime and content creation in general. It was a very fun conversation. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below, like your thoughts on what we talked about. Feel free to share your own thoughts about Star Rail or Genshin. Again, keep it chill. You know, we we love the games and, uh, you know, sometimes content creators just want to critique some things on what they think could be better about the game. So um, don't take anything we said offensive. Uh, I, hope, I hope you guys will be chill in the comments. Tectone and Tectone finally got together and did a video. Oh my god! I'm glad that he thinks also that we don't sound nothing alike because I don't I don't hear it either, and I listen to the motherfucker like all the time. So thank you guys again so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please hit the like button; it helps out a lot. Subscribe if you have not already, and if you guys want to stay updated on Star Rail news, guide videos for Star Rail reactions for Star Rail Honkai Back Third, maybe Genshin in the future. He did talk me back into getting in the game. And then also, Project Mugen is probably going to be coming out fairly soon, probably by the end of this year or beginning of next year. So we'll also be covering that and Wuthering Waves. If you guys are interested in that, feel free to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Be notified for future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.